Hey everyone, I'm Zadik. Uh, welcome back to Crow Country. Um, we just made it here. Um, someone's office. I think it might be Tolman. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let's see what's going on. Edward has his office door electrified. Decently high voltage too. I turned off all the mains power, but the door was still electrified, so I think he must have hooked it up to a generator somewhere in the underground level. Okay. It's a model of Crow Country Park. It looks like there are four main areas and a few smaller sections around the outside. Okay. Take that ammo. I'll take that. Now, let's see. What does this TV have? There's a videotape in this slot. Press play. This is a message for Edward Crow from Douglas Pike. Okay, so we're in the office of Douglas Pike. Edward, we've been friends over 30 years. You entrusted me with the running of your theme park, a task I have relished. You have always shown me kindness and always paid me well for my work. However, I can no longer remain silent. Edward Crow, your crimes have not gone unnoticed, nor will your sins go unpunished. As for Elaine Marshall, I hope she never forgives us. Elaine Marshall died, though. Did she die? Or was she just injured? For none of us deserve it. Goodbye. Okay. That's... Alright. Let's see. Let's move forward. Now, is this something... Fatal error. Okay. Must be broke. Oh, she's gone now. Okay. Um. It's a bit unnerving that she's gone. Uh, where did she go? Where does she have to go? Uh. Oh, there's the fairy thing. Uh. Okay, that's an, a lift. Uh. Can someone from maintenance please varnish the Ocean Kingdom storage door room? or else just replace the door entirely. It's made from really old wood and it's starting to crumble. It's not exactly fire safe. Okay. Uh. Pull it? She's facing the other way. Let's, what does this do really quick? It's not working. I think the curtain has to be fully raised first. Okay. What is that? What is that in the audience? That's terrifying. What is that? Oh. What are you? Listen, I had no idea what the roots were for. How could I have known? What roots? What are you talking about? There are seven in total, and I cut them down. Cut them open. You cut them open? What? All but one. We left one intact for posterity. We thought, what a farce. Okay. Oh no. Oh, God! No, 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 get away from me! Oh, that's terrifying. Are they dolls? Are they... Oh crap, I didn't mean to throw a grenade. Well, it worked. So, whatever. Uh, I noticed the Seven Seas mermaids use the same kind of battery as the giant crow. Not a bad idea, those kinds of batteries aren't waterproof. Those mermaids are going to need constant maintenance. Okay. Okay. Well. Those things are gross. Uh, it's full of water. Okay. 
pick up that. Oh, I can't carry anymore. Okay. Um. I mean. Eh. Just have to remember it's there. Can I turn it. Oh, okay. Okay. So she kicks her legs when water hits her. All right. Thank you for helping me before. I'd never have found that bronze key without you. Okay. Um. Oh god. It's... I don't... Well, it's dead. I suppose that's all there is to say. Um. Oh, I see some shotgun ammo right there. Nice. This is really good. This, the placement of things is fantastic, I gotta say. Like, look at that. I just had to, like, turn the camera, and I didn't think to turn it the first time around, so... Yeah, this is great. Alright, let's just... Oh. Oh, this is the theater! Can... Oh, okay. Um, all right. No! You're rude. Get away. Get away. Let's go save really quick. No! Don't touch me! Don't touch me. Yeah. Okay, so it said something about... Um, the battery is being used for the crow as the same with the mermaid. So, uh, bronze keeper. Let's see, number 16. Yes, that's the other side of the park. Yes, it means you're in the wrong place. Clock's near. Okay, let's just go back to the. the haunted area, because I think there's something to do with the correct input of those uh, cell doors from what I read. So we're gonna go this way. wanted to make sure I thought maybe something I missed. Oh, hello. Why do you have a pink bike? Like, not judging, just wasn't expecting it. Excuse me, miss. You really shouldn't be wandering around here. Why not? It's not safe. Would you like me to escort you? No? Are you a police officer? Police Detective Harrison James. I was supposed to be here hours ago, but some kid broke into my car this morning. Little punk slashed my tires, too. They look okay to me. No, they slashed my car tires. I had to borrow the bike because I couldn't use my car. Okay, there we go. Uh, right, duh. I didn't catch your name. Oh, right, sorry. I'm Mara. Aha, so that's your car out front. The 85 Fiesta? Yeah, how did you know? I met your boyfriend. He said he was waiting for you. Oh my god, he's not my... Never mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you're blushing. No, I'm not. Shut up. Actually, Mara, maybe you can help me? I was supposed to meet up with a woman, a Miss Natalie Crow. You haven't seen her around, have you? Uh, as far as I know, she's early 20s, blonde hair. I don't think there's an issue in telling him. Yeah, I saw her. She was in the staff hallway outside Edward Crow's office. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. I need to get to me. I need to go find Miss Crow, but I'm gonna ask you to go back to your car, okay? It's not safe here. You need to go home. Sure, I was just on my way out, more or less. Glad to hear it. You be safe now, okay? I really didn't think he was going to show up. Now, I gotta say... Ah, that's what I thought. Press, press it. Oh. Phone's ringing. Where's the phone? 
Hello? The first guest emerged from the pool two years ago. I've been thinking it must have been on purpose. The timing, I mean. Two years ago? 1988. It must have been some sort of intersection. A critical pivoting point, if you will. Late enough that we've developed the necessary infrastructure. Early enough that we've... Well, early enough so as to not be too late, I suppose. What? This keeps getting more and more interesting. Crow turntable control. Okay. Um, what does this one do? Walking sequence. Okay. Alright. Um. Silver keyhole. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I think we just go this way. For now, at least. Um. So, you're still trying to get in there. Okay. So, I'm gonna go over here. And I think it was... I think it was Cyclops. Uh, Cyclops Mermaid. Ow. Wolf. Snake. Did that not do it? It contains an antidote, too. Just use that for now. Um. Okay. Uh. I am gonna need that bottle of corrosive acid. Unless I can just. No. Of course. I didn't think I could. Okay. Uh. So that didn't work. Hmm. I'm gonna go back. I need to see that note again. Because I think that was correct. Because the only... Well, let's just try the other way. I know that the snake was last and the cyclops was first. So... Cyclops... Is this by year? 1837... 1810... Eighteen hundred. That? No? Okay, so let's go back. I'm trying to think. What is it that I need to do? What's this say? Uh, oh, right. Wait, with red caps can be broken open at the cost of a single bullet. Let's see what's inside the bottle before the break. Okay, I've already done that for a few things. It's oh there he is. For it. Nothing. Okay. Let's go into the crypt. Then we haven't been here yet. I don't think we want to reenact with Oh no. It's a timer. Oh! Oh, there's a freaking gun! After disabling the trap, you can offer this advice. When reading the gravestones, focus on the names. Focus on the names. The birth dates and death dates aren't any use for you for now. Look at the floor in the center of the room. Okay, um... Uh... Names Solina... Easily. Uh, I can't read. Okay, okay. 
uh, Solomon Wesley, so you need to go this way. You need to go north. No, I crap. And then you need to point south. And then, crap. I, I think that's right. I think that's right. I think that's right. Uh, check the drowned human daughter. Uh, um, no, that's right. I swear, it's right. Uh, Estelle. Yeah, east. Uh, Norbert Easley. Yeah, north. Uh, what? Solomon Wesley. What? North. I don't understand. Nine. So the the name is the only thing that's important. Then, who are you, bud? And, uh, look at the floor in the center of the room. I'm reading the graves. What was on the names? Yeah. I saw this really quick. So, no. This Solina. So that's... South. Okay, so... Maybe... Maybe having two names means they go uh, like 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 he's Solomon Wesley, so maybe southwest instead of just west because Solina's already on that one. Uh, east, north, east. Okay. Also, I'm taking your shotgun. Ah, plastic decoration. Bummer. Um, yeah, I guess I wasn't actually gonna get shot, but, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, well, we did it, yeah. All right. Oh, what is that? Uh Please die. Oh. You have a lot of health. Okay. Get out of my face, weirdo. Broken gravestone. Okay. This guy was just chilling back here. What a jerk. What a jerk. Ah! Ah, okay. I broke it. Hell yeah. This park needs a little breaking. Uh, ooh, okay. I left the shotgun in the submarine. Shark, 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 dolphin. At least, I think that's what the- that's the quickest way. I was never too good at math. Uh, okay, so this is the one I already read. Uh, hey Ed, what's been going on? I finally set up the address you can use to send me the ore. If you label the contents as samples of geological interest, we can pass it off as an academic research thing. I'll collect the shipments once a week and take them back into the mine. Hold on to your hat, we're about to become the luckiest gold miners since 1848. Nice. Uh, nope, that's the staff memos. Is that a thing? Okay, so we're gonna save here. Uh, watch out for chandelier traps hanging from the ceiling. Single handgun bullet, as always. Uh, what's in here? Coffee machine. I don't drink coffee. Good thing, too, since I don't think it's working. Fa uh, I was trying to say fair, but I said valid as well, so valid. <laughs> valid. Valid. Fair. Whatever. 
field trips, gather the kids in a group outside the haunted manor, choose an older kid to get them to ring the doorbell, nothing will happen, laughter ensues, then choose a younger kid and have them try, quietly tell them the secret so they can get the door to open, impress gasps ensue, the secret is to ring the bell a specific number of times. I already did that. Uh, oh, it's an adult magazine. Barf. No thanks. <laughs> I haven't heard someone say barf like that in a long time. Okay, so gasoline. Full trash. Uh oh. There's someone on that. On the other side of that. Tom B. Stone. The year Selena died. Some kind of clue. Selena. Didn't I see that name somewhere else just a minute ago? Yeah. Tom B. Stone. Tombstone. Okay, so it's the year she died. Okay. I get it. I get it. She died 1872. Crank handle? Nice. Okay, so the crank handle was for... what? It's not locked open. Okay. Cell? Uh -oh. Nice. Man, when I find the shotgun... It's records. March 24th, 1988. Boss and I have the storeroom converted into a holding cell. Pike isn't happy about it. He says we can't legally hold people here, even if they've committed a crime within the park. I tell him it's not for criminals. Boss brings the guest up here, locks it in the cell. He wants to run some tests. He says it will be much quicker if he doesn't have to travel down to the lab each time. I think it is a very bad idea to bring the guest up to the surface, especially while the park is still open. Almost immediately, I am proven right. A girl named e uh, Elaine Marshall finds her way into the holding cell and encounters the guest. She is injured and taken to the hospital. Boss is forced to close the park. I fear this is not the end, but the beginning. So am I, like, playing as Elaine Marshall? Is that who my character is, really? What is this? There's a panel here. It's not especially well hidden. Uh... Cell door unlocked. Oh, okay. Open. Can't carry anymore. Bleach. They've been bleaching the bed. Gross. Okay, let's see. Um. Oh, can I open this? It's a, it's a vent. Is there something inside? Can I just shoot it, maybe? No. Okay. I don't know then. So, maybe... Fatal error? Nothing happened. Must be broken. Okay. Let's go through here. Hello! Hi! Hi, Winston! Hi, good boy! Who's a good Winston? Huh? Golden tubes are... F oh! This is gold processing. Oh, boy. Wait, is it turning it into rock? Oh, it's breaking down the gold and then putting it into the rocks. Is that what's happening? That's, huh, the funnel at the top, yeah. That reminds me of mortar and pestle, Jesus. And that's more gasoline. this, I guess. It's locked with a huge latch. Oh, okay, here we are. Uh, oh! Finally. Hey, how did you get inside? I went through the crypt. 
There was this tombstone puzzle and a shotgun and this ticking clock. Jesus, you're rude. I'm just kidding, you did good, all right. Now, there's work to be done. Who are you? Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, I think this is the best spot. The best spot? For what? I assume he uses that elevator, so he'll see it for sure. Are you talking about Edward Crow? Yeah. Hey, would you help me out with something? Sure. I need to clear off these tables and then lay out some documents. It won't take... Oh, okay. Well... That's... That'll do it. Thanks for the help. For the attention of Edward Crow. Okay. Takes care of that. Hopefully we'll see it. While I'm here, I'm going to take a look in the cell. Did you go in? Yeah, there's not much to see. Fair enough. We'll catch you... Well, catch you later. Stay out of trouble, alright? Huh. Okay. Incident in local theme park. Parents Luke and Patricia Marshall decided to take their daughter Elaine to a local theme park for her 15th birthday. Crow Country, named for its owner, one Edward Crow, is a small amusement park found only a few miles southeast of Atlanta. It's fair to say that it's been fairly popular with the locals, but never really drew in the big crowds of some of its larger competitors. The Marshall family were walking through the haunted hilltop section of the park when Elaine became separated from her parents. Around half an hour later, later, Elaine reappeared. She was visibly very upset and a patch of blood marked on the front of her t-shirt. It seems Elaine had wandered into a restricted section of the park and encountered something or someone very dangerous. Yesterday, Atlanta Central Radio got a direct quote from Elaine herself speaking from her ward at Westview Hospital. There was a man in a cage. Yeah, I'm gonna say that on my character's Elaine. It's a medical report. Patient, uh, date of birth, injuries, wound across the stomach and chest, not healing due to a bacterial infection. Attempts to identify the nature of the bacteria are still ongoing. Suspected case of cause of injury, attacked by a wild animal, unsubstantiated claim by the patient that she was attacked by a person. Treatment is ongoing. Treatment of bacterial infection. Currently, no improvement shown. No, its patient also complains of ongoing headaches and queasiness. Okay. Further treatment pending legal agreement between Marshall family and a third party financier. Financier. Fi financier. Dr. Margaret Fielding, Atlanta. Okay. Uh, Julie Barron, locally feared lawsuit attorney. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I'm gonna call the episode here, uh, it's really getting interesting, so I'm, I'm wicked excited to keep playing this, so stay tuned everyone, thanks for watching, and yeah, see you next time.